All right, for this video, we're gonna get Dreamcast to work on this controller right here. So I've done it. I got it to work. Let me show you what we did here. Okay, first thing to do is press the start and then go to quit and let's go quit emulation station. You're gonna need a keyboard for this. And uh, you should start out with this right here, this screen right here with just a little dollar sign. And that's what you're gonna write right there. You're gonna write, um, I, I mean, I already wrote it, so I'm not gonna write it again. There you go, CD space, opt forward slash RetroPie forward slash emulators forward slash right cache forward slash bin, boom. You can see now it's blue, I'm in that directory. And once you're in that directory, you're just gonna type, Period forward slash, I already wrote it, Rycast dash joint config. And this is going to work on any controller that you give to it. So you can see I have my keyboard. I don't know why it shows up twice, but I have my keyboard as one of the inputs, Steel Series. And I have my Logitech F310 hooked up right now as the wired, um, which I'm not really using. But if I do, if this one just stops working on me, and then I have, as you can see, number three, the Nintendo Wii Pro controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and click three on my keyboard and enter. And so at this point, if you, at that backlist, no matter what controller you had, this is where you would go to manually configure it. Um, so do you wanna map an exit button? I highly recommend it. So what I did was I, um, I wrote Y with my keyboard, hit enter, and then I hit the, um, the home button. And then now see how it says button number 316. So you can go through this whole setup I'm gonna put a link to the Rycast website that shows you a Dreamcast controller. So you can see like which buttons you want to be, like A, B, X, Y. You're not gonna need the C, D button and the Z button. I don't think you'll need any of that. So I didn't map any of that. And it's not map stock either. Um, but when you're done here, it's supposed to shoot out the, the folder into your Pi. It didn't do that for me. I think it might be because I already had a file for my uh, Wii U. So, but for this video, uh, in the link below, I'm going to give you the config file. So you don't even have to do this. All you have to do, and I'm going to show you on my computer, is you can need to download that file and drag it into the proper folder. I'm going to show you how to do that in just one second. No matter what controller you have, this process is the same. So whether you're trying to configure a, the Wii U Pro or a different controller, this is the same process you would use. You just type the track. Okay, so here's the controller here. If you're trying to see which buttons are actually on the Dreamcast, as you see, there is no select button. There's a left and right shoulder. A, B, X, Y, um, select, you can bind it as quit if you want, or any button that you have extra. And then you have the D-pad and the analog stick. And it gives you all sorts of examples of what the configs look like, but it does not have one for the Wii U. Here's the directions that I showed you earlier. That's what I was following. Um, but uh, what you actually want to do is you want to connect to Wi-Fi. And once you connect to Wi-Fi, you should have a Windows Explorer. And then you go to Network. And within my network, I have my computer and I have my RetroPie. I can just double click that. Otherwise, you can also enter your IP address. I'm going to go ahead and go to Configs. And then I'm going to head over here to Dreamcast. And then within Dreamcast, you have Mapping. And within Mapping, you have all your controllers. So what I've done is I've uploaded this file here onto Dropbox. Just go ahead and download it. And then you're just going to control V, copy it into this program, and you can overwrite the original one because the original one is not good. So you'll drop that in. And as you see, you have, I have all my game pads. And, uh, you know, you can do that this method for any controller. It's just in this specific video, we're doing it for the Wii U uh, Remote Pro Controller. Okay, once you drag and drop that, I would just restart Emulation Station really quickly. Restart, and you're all set to go. You just type the track. Dreamcast. Let's go to Power Stone. Just so I am using the Wii U controller.
it's gonna be a little more difficult for me, but whatever. Hey oh, it's loading. We good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Welcome start again. No. So I'm gonna hold it like this so we can all. I think I need to there's still something a little up with the D-pad with the analog stick on here. Yeah, the, the analog stick's a little funky. The D-pad works perfectly. Hit the bed. Oh, get wrecked, right, kid. Oh. Oh, boy. Should I probably avoid him, right? What? How am I supposed to avoid that? What does that mean? I don't know what I'm doing, but... Which one is me? Oh, not that guy. Okay, I got it. Anyways, but uh, now I can hit the home button here. And that exits. That's what I have as the exit, is the home button on your controller. There's no select button for... Um, for Dreamcast for that controller. So there you have it, no problems whatsoever. Hope you like this video, please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.